okay so the next subtopic here is start, it says it started with a single it started with a single so and he started off by saying so god did not create adam with hold on first so god did not create adam and eve as a married couple rather they were created as adult singles first let me say that again god did not create adam and eve as a married couple rather they were created as adult singles first when i saw this thing i i, I literally closed the book i i said flesh and blood has not revealed this thing to this man like mm -mm. you know and my mind just went back to genesis one and two and i act, and then my eyes were actually opened that it is the truth although adam was created first eve was created before god brought them together so he's saying that yes i know that marriage is god's plan and intention and all that but before they were joined together they were singles first so just tell us that that, that as singles we are important single single lives matter right our lives matter our lives matter our lives matter to god so the, that was very foundational and that was very intentional because you can imagine god that just made adam and eve oh yeah if already joined from the womb go forth and multiply but no adam was created first then eve was created then god brought them together before they became a kingdom um, couple so singleness for a kingdom man and i also take this also to be for a kingdom woman is um three things that we need to follow Number one, a personal relationship with him first. That's a personal relationship with God first. Number two, a divine calling. Number three, an instruction prior to him giving a mate. An instruction, an instruction prior, um, prior to the time he receives a mate from God. So, but this was a caveat for single, um, kingdom kingdom men and it says as he said single men should prioritize these areas so that he or they can offer their future brides a kingdom man that's number one a personal relationship with god number two a divine calling and three an instruction an instruction an instruction so that's a big pause about that so definitely if you want to hi highlight the life of adam number one definitely had a relationship with um um god even prior to the fall he had a relationship with him as he would walk uh, when and this was verified when god said um uh, when god was walking in the in the cool of the evening evening in the garden and called out for him like adam where are you and i said i was hiding you know so definitely at the it just shows that at the, at the evening time or at all times they were having a um, relationship a relationship, a relationship that, that was real number two a divine calling for sure God created Adam from the dust and breathe, and God breathed upon up, upon him. Yeah, it was called, 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 and also that calling is that calling that calling is also um, highlighted in Genesis 1 28. Bible says, um, you know, be fruitful, multiply, replenish the earth, subdue it, and have dominion over all the fish, over all everything, about everything I've created. Of the head bearing fruits, I've given you the seed, you know, God gave him that calling that you are called to dominate you are called to rule 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 number three god gave him an instruction and then the instruction was that um that he can eat of all the trees that he has created but he said of this tree do not eat it of this tree do not eat it so yeah going forward said being single is not equal to being alone being single it does not mean you are alone Adam was single, but he was not alone. He had the presence of God with him. Okay? And he gave an analogy of a key ring. You know, a key ring. Oh, let me see if I have that key ring. Hold on. Yes, I have it here. A key ring of two different keys, right? And he says each key functions wholly on its own. Okay? So let me just hold this one key. So this is a key ring, right? And these, these are two keys. So imagine if this is a man and this is a woman you can see that this one key is complete to open one door this other key too is complete to open another door this key is not dependent on this key to be whole neither is this key dependent on this key to be whole you can see how they've maintained as i said maintain their uniqueness their wholeness 
okay so imagine they're being separate like this on this two on this on this keychain they're separate they're, they're unique see see this shape see the uniqueness see the cuts everywhere look at this one too different silver like the cuts is branded differently you know you can open the door that he's fitted to open she too can open the door she is fitted to open you know she's not dependent on this guy she's not dependent on her to function as a key okay and it says, it says to use each key does not require the help of the other key although they are connected in the key ring in the same vicinity they are whole they are complete individually and they are fuller together so you can imagine if this key on this key ring it's like jingly jingly little noise or little effect sound effects this one too you know oh can you can hear it too a different sound you see different sound her own uniqueness but if you merge the sounds merge join them together you know it's like soprano and also a beautiful harmony hmm, let's get another seller from this now maintaining their own sounds but when joined together they are fuller together you understand then and this is who god is it joins them together or god is god is the vicinity that joins them together beautiful sound beautiful harmony okay so and it's just like a mate is a bonus a mate is a bonus so to this key a mate is a bonus and then adam got his mate while he was sleeping and not panicking yes adam got his mate while he was sleeping and not panicking God just say Bible says that God caused him to sleep and then he opened up his flesh and took out a rib. He got his mates while he was sleeping and not panicking. So that means that it's in God's rest that God gives us spouses, or God gives you your God gives you your mate. It's in God's rest. It's in it's in God's rest. I'll stop here. So I think this has been a good one. Thank you guys for joining. And I pray that um, we recognize that we are, we are complete in Christ. And that our wholeness, our uniqueness, our, our sounds individually matter. Matter to God. And God wants to use us as this key to open one door before he joins us together with another open many doors and meanwhile you know this key can enter into the doors of these two keys so it's, it's, it's a joint effort but before you enter a joint effort maximize that the maximize the calling that god has given you first before he joins you to another all for his glory all for his name all for his praise okay guys bye